Hello traders, right, I've been in and out all morning, so um, uh, not been able to get up to much rushing about, so I did post a video, I haven't posted a link on Twitter. Um, the only reason I'm making this video is because uh, something else, um, it's, it's pretty obvious really, but gold has been begging to go long. There's been numerous opportunities, uh, mostly ones I've missed because of my timing. Uh, well, because I'm busy, and um, and uh, which is a tiny little bit annoying because I was waiting. I, I knew gold was going to go long. You know, I've done the analysis, and that's what uh, my my uh, resolution was. And um, the reason I wanted to, uh, well, the reason I'm making this video actually is because of this phenomenon. Um, I'll talk about the actual trade that I'm in in a moment. It took me about two minutes to find it, if that, because I was uh, focused on gold anyway. But and I'm 99% out, by the way, about 15, about where, about here now, 15 pips. So this thing, you know, gold four-hour candles, bars, whatever you want to call them take a lifetime to arrive, don't they? Four hours when I'm trading minutes and potentially tick soon. And um, so I wanted this to be green, close green, so I'd know I could, uh, you know, that's that effectively is potentially the way to say the direction of the day, you know, but uh, it's a work in progress, but it's all on our charts. All we've got to do is look back when this happens, how it happens, what happens as a result, how best to trade it using the tools that we have in our toolbox. But that's it really, that's what this video is about, the H4s. Um, I know I want to be going long, we've got a daily 2B reversal going on here, well an H4 should I say, swing 1, 2, 3, the break of the low, and then um, you know this actually is a one, two, three, high, low, which I'm loving as well, absolutely loving. So, um, and a one, two, three, high, low is where, you know, obviously the sellers just have got no power at all anymore. The buyers have taken over. And as you can see from this H1 chart, you know, it's just up, up, up. And I missed this potential trade here because you've got your blue arrow. And then all we've got to wait for is the break of that. And look what happened. It just didn't look back, really. Um, this is so logical, in my opinion, that you'd be crazy not to embrace it. You know, the 2B is what everyone trades anyway, whether it's ICT, SMC, or whatever. Um, but don't limit yourself to certain times of day and all that, you don't need to, you know, they're everywhere, on every time frame. And it's criminal what these people teach, and try to teach, tent, whatever. Anyway, that's enough of that. So um, that's it, the H4, I was waiting for the H4 to close. Well, I wasn't really waiting, I was just watching, observing and learning, teaching myself. But we can see what's happened here from the H1 close. Arrow, we want that. Green nothing to green don't think there's anything behind there oh it won't move on that one will it no gray to green um and we talk i talked about um the best trades are always the earliest ones as it were uh from below zero to above you've got that too got the arrow which we know anyway broken momentum broken up the 17th level and um Bob's your uncle, as it were. So um, that's it. That's all that this is about, is um, a new observation. And it is, they're all on our charts. So you can make up your own rules, you know. Excuse me. Oh, I was going to talk about the trade, wasn't I? So I got back about 16 minutes past 12, it was. So on gold, I've checked the H4 because I wanted to see that. And remember, they an hour later. So 11 o'clock, that H4 closed green, which is an hour before 
hour and a half ago, just under. And uh, been waiting for it all day to watch it. So I've been focused on gold. And um, then got back at 12.16, as I said. So I've got my hour, H1, closed uh, with power. M30, closed with power. Actually, uh, that's the M30, isn't it? We're still in the current M30. So that um, took a little bit of a dip. But at the end of the day, all I want to do is then see new power come in, which it did. Broke the high of the previous candle. M15, still on that, uh, the same M15 I came home and saw there. Uh, so that was the power there. As you can see, break of the high. It's going to stop out my tiny little runner, but that's not a problem. In fact, uh, it's so powerful and everything's so right that this is the opportunity, this is the time you can get additional trades. But, you know, that's, again, teach yourself how to do it. You know what to look for. Um, it's all there in all my tweets. So if you're new to my feed as it were it's best forex method on twitter x um so that's it i mean this was an absolute slam dunk and then um just watch the break of the m15 high and uh the rest as they say is history no drawdown zero drawdown because of i was lucky with my timing again I talk about this all the time um, loving it, absolutely loving it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.